Hi, I'm Alex Kiss, and this statistics video will be on the pair t-test. I've created a summary table as an easy and effective way to learn a topic. Our summary table will consist of the concept behind the test, the key words or key idea to help you identify the test, the hypothesis form, and finally the test statistic itself. For the pair t-test, the concept behind the test is that we're seeing the same sample or a match sample being used often in a before-after type comparison to assess the mean difference. The key words or key idea behind this test are the data has to be coming from a normal distribution, the samples are dependent, meaning they're related to one another. Classic example of this is when you give a test to a group of subjects before some program to measure their ability, and then give them the test after the program. So while we have two samples, the fact that they're the same group measured twice shows that they're related or dependent. This key point differentiates this test from the independent sample t-test in which the two samples aren't related. So a case of independent samples would be females compared to males, for example. For this type of test, often the question is asked in terms of looking at a difference or a change. So in the earlier example I just gave, you'd want to see if after the program was there a difference or change in the subject's ability on the test. The hypothesis statement, which is two-tailed, is H0 mu1, the mean of sample 1, minus mu2, the mean of sample 2, equals 0. Often this is represented by the symbol delta, which means change, so you could have the hypothesis worded as delta equals 0. The alternate hypothesis, HA, would be that the difference in means mu1 minus mu2 does not equal 0, and likewise it could be represented as delta not equal to 0. The test statistic is t equals d bar divided by sd over the square root of n. d bar is the mean of the differences for each individual di, and the variance of the differences is given by the formula shown here. We'll be taking the square root of that to get sd, which is the standard deviation of the differences. That leads us to our summary table. So you see the concept presented here, the keywords, the hypothesis, and the test statistic. I hope you find this table to be helpful. For any additional information on statistics, feel free to see any of our other videos. Visit our website or check out our statistics professor app.